Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here today. I have this makeup look. It is a very soft makeup look, soft glam makeup look, but it's using all the products that I've loved in 2018. And just all my top picks of 2018 is my kind of go-to soft glam look. And I wanted to share with you guys what I've loved this year. So if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look and also learn about why I love these products and why I think they work for me, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my favourite moisturiser. I can easily say my favourite moisturiser is the Glam Glow Glow Star so Mega Illuminating Moisturiser Underneath Makeup. This one is in the shade Sun Glow and it's got a beautiful kind of just dewy illuminating kind of vibe to it. I like it because it's like putting my liquid illuminator in with my moisturiser but it's all in one. So I'm just going to use this and pop this all over the face. By looking at the tube you can tell that I love it. And it has nearly run out, so I need to replace this little baby. Okay, let me be really real with you guys. I don't really wear primer. I don't really believe in primer. I like primers that have like an illuminating factor in them. But other than that, I don't really reach for primer on a daily. So, I'm going to go with my favourite foundation. Now, I actually use two foundations that are my favourite and they're my go-tos. And I've loved them this year. That would be the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. This one is in the shade Tan Sand. And then for the outskirts of my face, of course, I love a MAC Face and Body in C6. And I reach for this every single day, regardless of what makeup I'm doing. This will always be somewhere, like whether it be on my chest. So I like to use this. So I'm going to start off with Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I'm going to apply this with a beauty blender just to the centre part of my face. And then I'm going to use the darker foundation, the MAC Face and Body, just around the outskirts and down at my neck. Now the reason why I like these two foundations is just because they honestly work. The Tarte one is very, very lightweight. You can't even feel it on the skin. And so is the face and body. And then I feel like the two of them together just create a really nice kind of a tan shade for me, which I like. And I like the fact that the MAC face and body is so lightweight, but it gives you that tint so I don't look grey anywhere. These two have just been my reach, reach to or my go-to just because... They're just so easy to blend and they're very lightweight. I don't like personally anything that's too heavy. I like something that's going to be more like a tinted moisturiser on the skin, but gives you a little bit of coverage. Now you guys know that I love, 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 love trying out new concealers and I've tried probably them all. Like, maybe not them all, but I've tried a shit ton of concealers and I know what I like, but my favourite for this year and I think for probably a very long time, if you haven't got it, you need it in your life, it is a Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I just like this because I like a heavy concealer, I like my dark circles completely banished. This one is in the shade Warm Sand and it is absolutely perfect with my skin tone. It just kind of blends in really nicely. So I'm going to pop this underneath my eyes and a little bit just on my top a lip where I have a little bit of darkness. And then I'm going to blend this out using a damp beauty blender as well. If you know me, you guys know that I love base makeup and I like to perfect it. So I'm going to go in with a highlighter concealer. Now the one that I just reach for on the daily and one that is a staple piece and I like this as a, a concealer like I would use the Too Faced one as well is a Revolution Concealer Define. I like the shade C5 as more of a lighter highlighted colour for me and I like to pop this underneath my eyes and down the centre of my face. So I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to blend that out using the same beauty blender again and this will just lift the face and add a little bit of dimension and sculpt the face as well. I love me a good cream bronze and if I'm honest, this isn't that old, but I've been using it so much and I like the shade of it. I also need more cream bronzers in my life. I don't own that many, but from what I own, I love the Maybelline. This is a Super Stay foundation stick. This one is in the shade Coco and it comes with the cream side and then obviously a sponge side, but I don't like the sponge. I just love the tone of this as a bronzer on me. I like that reddish, warmish, kind of orangey-ish undertone. And I like putting down a cream bronzer before I put down a powder. I just feel like... The lasting power is so much stronger and it's just a lot more sculpting to my face as well, I find. So I'm going to take this stick, you've probably seen it a trillion times, and I'm just going to draw that three everywhere that I would usually bronze and also just down the sides of the nose because I like to bronze up that area and then I'm just going to blend that all out as well. So something that I recently started doing, but I never did it before, I think I got suckered in by like the Instagram trends is I always draw on my bronzer, you know, so you can see the lines, but I found that if I dip my brush into my cream bronzer and then I blend it over onto the skin, it just looks a lot more natural. It's not as strong and also that way you don't put on too much product because you can control how much product you're putting on and where you're putting it, especially around this kind of jaw area. Sometimes I find that I get a line because I've drawn a line. 
and I've not blended it out properly which isn't pretty but if you just apply it straight on with a brush as opposed to straight onto your skin and then try and blend it out I think it might work better moving on to brows I absolutely love this product this is the benefit precisely in my brow pencil and it is insane I knew there was a lot of hype around it and I am late to the game but it has a spoolie on one side and then it's just got the twist up pencil on the other I like the fact that they've got both on there I like the design of it most importantly I just like the pencil you can go you can draw like really fine hair strokes and keep it really natural and that's what I like about it so I'm just going to quickly brush my brows through to get rid of any foundation product that's in them and then I'm going to use the twisty upside and I'm just going to draw fine like strokes and then just kind of fill in my brows really just normally how I do in every single tutorial now that my brows are done I wouldn't use any other product other than the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel why it's a clear brow gel and I don't know why I love it so much it is just a clear brow gel but I don't know if it's the spoolie that they have on it or what it is it just makes everything look so natural it kind of just fluffs up the brows even though it's a clear brow gel, I can't work it out, but I know I can't live without it. So I'm just going to run this through my brows. I'm going to be using the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer to carve up my brows. Now I'm really picky with what I use to carve up my brows because I want it to be cre creamy. I don't want it to be too hard and I don't want it to be too wet. There is like a fine line because I like to carve up my brows and then prime my lid with this as well. And this is a little baby that I reach for all of the time. This is in the shade SX10 and it's that perfect shade. It's not too light. It's not too tan, it's not my skin tone, it's a little bit brighter, but it's not too bright, if that sort of makes sense. So I'm just going to use my smoothed out angle brush, and this is what I need to carve out my brows. It makes it so much easier. And I'm just going to apply this all over underneath my brows, carve them out, and then on my lid. And then I'm just going to beauty blend them out to blur everything. Okay, now that my base is done, if you guys know me, you've been following me for a while, then you know that I love, love, love to perfect the base. And then eyes and lips, I'm kind of like, mm, do you know what I mean? I don't do a lot. I just love warm up colours. It depends on where I'm going. But on a daily, and I want to be really real with you guys, I love warm tones. It is my thing. And this was really difficult because it's like an eyeshadow palette for the whole year. This probably isn't for the whole year. It's probably for half the year or a quarter of the year. But I've been loving these two palettes. Now I like the Technic one, which I actually got recently. And I love the Makeup Revolution one, which I is a bit battered. And I've had it for some time. But they're both really, really warm palettes. I probably like the Technic one a little bit more. And these two palettes are really, really affordable. They are both stunning. They've just got warm tones in. And I like tones that you can wear on a daily. I don't need a lot of purples, blacks, blues. I don't need any of them colours. I just need oranges and warm browns and I am happy so I'm actually going to try the Technic one you guys have seen this a lot on my channel but I'm going to use it because I rate it and I love it so we're going to be doing a daily soft glam look something that I'm all about with warm tones of course with the Technic the heat is on eyeshadow palette and I'm going to go in with this warm brown right here just because it's a colour that I use a lot, as you can see. And I'm going to pop this in to my crease, smoke it out and take it up to the brow bone and use this as my transition colour. Now because this colour is such a like beautiful warm brown tone, I also like to just take it all the way in. I mean, I think it looks fine. I like to take it in and just warm up these sides of my nose. Just to kind of tie everything in, you know. Now on a daily, I'd probably leave just one colour in the crease really really simple makeup but it's a little bit boring for a youtube video what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly just take that color and i'm going to smoke it out on my lower lash line and then have a look at my eyes going back in to this eyeshadow palette now i think i'm going to take a little bit of the chocolatey brown just on my mac 221 warnut brush and i'm going to pop this in the crease right in there just to create a little bit of depth to my eyes just swiping back and forth until i get the intensity that i want Going back in with that same colour, I'm just going to use this flat angle brush and pop this really close to my lower lash line just so the darkness comes from where my lashes are. For wing liner, my favourite liner is always a pen liner and the one that I will always go back to is the MAC Brush Black. I just love the tip on it, like I just like it, I think it's so easy. I think if you're a beginner or you're struggling to do wing liner then this is a really great pen. I'm not a big fan of liquids, I don't like them, I just love the pen ones 
and this one happens to be my favorite so I'm gonna add a really nice winged liner to both my eyes let me let you guys in to a little secret if there's one thing I hate it is wing liner and putting on false lashes wing liner because there's just such a pressure to try and get them symmetrical and then I'm like put off by it I'm like I'm not even gonna bother but do you know what I'll tell you one thing when you put on your mascara and you put on your false lashes you can't even tell so I wouldn't even sweat it I particularly like my wing liner to be straight, so like straight across. I don't like like a rounded, when a lot of people do my wing liner, they always do it like quite dollish and it goes really high up and it's got a bit of a curve to it. I don't like that wing liner. I just like it to be quite straight, angular. Mm. You guys have probably noticed that there is no shimmer going on. The only shimmer that I like on my eyes is in my inner corners and I can't really leave the house without it unless it's like a matte black Smoky eye, I love an inner corner highlight. I just think it looks so pretty, really soft glam and just kind of completes the look. I'm very picky about inner corner highlight. Some highlighters work, some don't. But something that I will always go back to and something that I've liked throughout the course of this year is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Mean Money and Hustler Baby Kilowatt Highlighter. I like Hustler Baby and I like to take it on just this small MAC 228 brush and pop it on, if the brush is slightly damp, just into my inner corners, just to get that little bit of a pop, and then I'll add this same highlight to my brow bone as well. Now I wanna share with you guys, this isn't a 2018 love because I just recently bought it, but since I bought it, I've been wearing it every single day, a little bit on top of this one. This is the L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze Loose Pigment in the shade As If, and it's got sparkles in it, it's just beautiful, and it's really, poppy so if you like an inner corner highlighter that isn't I, I feel like this is subtle but it's bright but if you want it to be more sparkly then add this one on top so I'm just going to add a little bit of this pigment on top now that that's done I'm going to move on to adding a little bit of mascara usually I love false lashes anyway but I want to share with you guys what my favorite mascara is and for the year of 2018 it's actually been the Maybelline the colossal big shot I was actually sent this and I love the Maybelline Lasting Sensation. That's the pink one. It is insane. I love the Revlon Volume Amazing. But this is the one that I've been reaching for a lot, the gold packaging one. So I'm just gonna pop this on my lashes. Because we are applying falsies, I'm not gonna apply it too much, but I do feel like this one gives you volume, it gives you curl, and it just lets all of your lashes be separated, but look thick as well. I'm gonna move on to face as I usually do and then we'll move back to eyes. I'm gonna set my bronzer, my cream bronzer in place and the bronzer that I love, just love of all time, not even 2018, just love of all time is the MAC Give Me Sun. It's because it's got this really nice sort of warm orangish undertone to it, it's beautiful and it just is an everyday bronzer. So it helps set that cream bronzer in place. I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush and pat this over the top. So it's gonna intensify it but also just set it in place. So I don't usually contour, but if I'm gonna contour, I will be using the Benefit Hoola. This is just because it's a really nice shade. It's more of a cool tone, but kind of bronzery-ish. I can use darker than my skin tone shades on me, but it takes a lot longer just to blend it out. So this one is a super natural one for an everyday go-to contour shade for me. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit and then just do the hollows of my cheekbones is what I usually like to do, just kind of suck them in. Let's pop on a little bit of blusher just to the apples of my cheeks. I like a peachier blusher. Sometimes I like a pinkier one, but nine times out of 10, I'll go towards a peachy orangey blush just because it's warm. And the blusher that I love in a peach tone is the X1 blusher. This one is in the shade Pretty in that peach. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this on the apples of my cheeks just to add a flush of color. It just kind of makes you look a little bit fresh. My bad, I forgot to bake underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna do it now. I'd probably do it before I was gonna do the powder bronzer and the blusher, but it doesn't matter. The two baking powders. Now baking is actually a new thing for me. I have a love-hate relationship with it. If you've been following me for a while, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, sometimes I hate it. But these two products, I just can't. Like if you hate baking, then at least just try these and it may just change your life because I found that powder underneath, underneath the eyes just looks so flawless and airbrushed and it really does make a big difference. The one that I've been reaching for all the time is the Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Bake in Sugar Cookie. I believe it's translucent and I love that, but if you feel like your under eyes are a little bit wrinkly and they get a bit crusty, then try maybe the Givenchy. This is the Prismella Brea. 
This one is expensive, but it works and you can add concealer on top of it and it doesn't do that it doesn't do that crumbly thing that baking powders do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to mix both of them together. Just so I've got the best of both worlds. I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. Not so much bake, but just use the Huda Beauty brush and dab that on and then brush it away just to set my under eyes in place. As you guys can see, my under eyes look flawless. Like, I don't like powder everywhere, so I don't do it. I just do it underneath my eyes and the sides of my nose. And the powderiness will go away when I use a fixing spray. But they just, I don't know where this palette has been all my life. Like, I don't. Anyways, I'm going to move on to lashes. For lashes, I would just say I love Huda lashes. I had a love-hate relationship with them, like, a couple of years ago. But I love them. I love them. I think they're beautiful. And I think she's got all different ranges for all different occasions. The ones that I like to wear with this look are smaller lashes. And they are the Samantha lashes. And that's why I'm just going to solely put these on. But I love Farah and I love Scarlet and I love Noelle as well. They're my favourite styles. I can't really pick lashes for 2018 only because there are so many different styles that I would love for different occasions. I like Tatty Lashes. I like House of Lashes. I, I like Super Drug Lashes. I like any sort of lashes. It just depends on my look, really. But for this look, I'm going to use Samantha's and I'm just going to pop them on using some Duo Glow. Now that lashes are on, I love these because they don't look too heavy at all. But they really go with the look. Like, I feel like they're just perfect. I like them a lot. I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara onto my lower lashes. Now, I feel like I need something to tie this look together because there's a gap in my waterline. I'm not the biggest fan of nude, and on a daily I don't really wear black liner, however, the black liner that I will wear, the only one that I've been wearing that I will reach for is actually a cake liner by Krylon. This one is in the shade Ebony, and it is the blackest of the black liner that I've ever come across in my life. It is a gel liner, but once it sets in place, it just kind of doesn't move, which you want for your waterline. It doesn't smudge. I don't know if it's waterproof, but I know that it just doesn't smudge once it's set. So I'm going to pop this into my waterline using a brush. Of course, I'm going to go for a nude for lips because that's what I wear the majority of the time. Now, the lip liner that I love, and I love it. I don't know if you can get it separately. I know that I got it in a pack, like the Barry M kit. It was called a Go To kit. This is the lip liner by Barry M in the shade Go To. A similar shade is probably a Velvet Teddy lipstick, not in a liner, but that's the sort of shade that it is. So I'm gonna line on my lips with this baby and just fill them in with it as well. Now I personally love to lighten my lips, especially in the center and then blow them out. And a lightener that I love is Technics. This is the Nude Edition Liquid Lipstick in Living Doll. I use this for like every single colour that I want to lighten. So I'm just going to pop this in the centre and then use a brush just to buff it out. Now I'm a sucker for a little bit of gloss. So I love the Benefit Punch Pop. This is in Sugar Cookie. It's a beautiful lip gloss, like literally just on its own. But I actually like to mix it with the NYX. This is just the lip oil, just to make it that extra bit glossy. So I'm going to mix these two together and then I'll pop these on the lips because I've been loving glossy lips recently. Now of course I couldn't forget highlighter and this was a tough one because trying to pick out your favourite highlighter, I don't know. There's loads of highlighters that I like but the one that stands out to me and the one that I just love and have been loving is the Jeffree Star. This is the Skin Frost in King Toot and this just looks really wet on the skin. Like it is beautiful, looks wet. So I'm going to be adding this on my face today just because it is one of my staples and I have been reaching for it a lot recently. So I'm going to pop this on the cheekbones and then also just down the centre of my face as well. And lastly, I will just set my face. Now usually I like the Urban Decay All Nighter and I do reach for that if I'm going out and I need to be out all day. But if it's just regular and I'm not going to be out that long, then I love the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is the, what is it, the 4-in-1 at Setting Mist. I just like the smell of it and I like that it's quite hydrating as well. So I'm just going to give myself a quick spritz of this spray. And that, guys, is it for my favourites of 2018. This is all the makeup that is my go-to makeup for the year. It's been the makeup that I've been reaching for, my loves, and also kind of like my go-to makeup, my soft glam look. This is the look that I'll always go for if I'm going to like an event and I don't know what, I'm, what to wear on my face. I don't want to go too much or I'm not going full beat, full glam. This is what I'll wear a soft glam. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I had so much fun and I wanted to wish you guys a really happy New Year's. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and let's look forward to 2019 because I've got a feeling that it's going to be a great year for all of us. I love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next video.
Mwah.